can see all of the locations that it's been, can see where people, um, where people live, where people work. It's sort of a mass surveillance program on a budget. The Fourth Amendment is supposed to protect us from being spied on by the government. It's supposed to mean that the government can't go into your phone and take out intimate data about your life uh, without legal process. In 400 feet, turn right on Florence Street. Uh, that ad ID number will ping periodically and it gives off uh, the number, the time, and the location um, in that ping. Ideally, uh, police officers would um, kind of identify a potential suspect and get a warrant for um, more surveillance on that individual. This program is kind of designed to develop suspects who the police aren't aware of or don't know about. And that lets them recognize that, hey, this one device, you know, it sleeps here at night and then it goes here during the day. Fog is taking the most intimate data about where we go um, and what we do and set, putting it up for sale to state and local police. looking at is somebody in danger, is a life in danger. We push the limits on investigative methodology. How does technology apply and where does that technology connect to other technologies and open source data and legal process? You're looking at Fourth Amendment protects uh, people, not places. So I think the fear that comes out here is, I, th I think it's just blown up way too much. If police aren't using, aren't acquiring warrants before using a service like Fog, that's essentially buying their way around the Fourth Amendment. It can also be used to run dragnet searches on locations that provide abortions and then work backwards to figure out who the people are who went to a particular facility during a particular time frame. I don't think it should be used by law enforcement, um, and at the very least, I think people should be aware that it is being used um, and that this kind of surveillance is going on.